Headache is one of the most common symptoms encountered in clinical practice. It occurs when the pain-sensitive structures in the head and neck are stimulated. Some of these structures include meninges, arteries and veins, scalp, muscles, and paranasal sinuses. Headaches can be divided broadly into two types, primary and secondary. Primary headaches are the most common type. They include migraine headache, cluster headache, tension headache, and other less common types. Secondary headaches are associated with some serious underlying conditions such as raised intracranial pressure, intracranial hemorrhage, and brain tumors. Migraine headache is the most common cause for episodic headache, and it commonly affects females. In about 90% of cases, the onset is before 40 years of age. It causes a severe, unilateral, or one-sided, throbbing pain, which is aggravated by movement. An episode of migraine usually lasts for about 4 to 72 hours, and it can severely impair a person's day-to-day -day activities and may cause the affected individual to have many significant sleep disturbances. A washed-out feeling follows an attack. Scalp may be tender to touch during an episode, and patient prefers to be in a dark, quiet room. Some patients also experience nausea and vomiting. Affected individuals often describe triggering factors such as skipping meals, certain types of foods, including chocolate, wine, alcohol, coffee, and cheese, psychological stress, menstruation, physical exertion, bright lights, loud noises, and minor head injuries. Migraine can occur with or without aura. Migraine aura is defined as focal neurological signs immediately preceding the headache. It usually evolves over 5 to 20 minutes, followed immediately by the headache phase. Visual aura is the most common type, and patients typically see zigzag lines or fragmentation of the image, like looking through a pane of broken glass. Sensory symptoms, such as tingling, may also be there. Some patients may experience transient impairment of speech and rarely loss of muscle function. There is another rare type of migraine, called hemiplegic migraine. It is a rare autosomal dominant disorder, characterized by transient hemiparesis and or coma with headache. Some individuals will also have permanent cerebellar signs such as episodic ataxia. Suggestive clinical features alone are sufficient to make a diagnosis of migraine. Management of migraine starts with general measures such as explanation of the condition to the patient, avoidance of triggering factors, and lifestyle modifications. An acute attack can usually be managed with analgesics such as paracetamol, aspirin, and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as naproxen. In addition, anti-emetics such as metoclopramide can be given for vomiting. If migraine doesn't respond to simple analgesics, triptans, which are migraine-specific, can be given. Common examples include sumatriptan and zolnitriptan. It is important to know that overuse of these medication can also trigger migraine episodes, and the usual episodic migraine can become a chronic one. When migraine episodes become more frequent, migraine suppression medications are indicated. These include anticonvulsants such as sodium valproate and topiramate, propranolol, tricyclic antidepressants, and flunorazine.